Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Cruz and I'm back with another tutorial and sorry for that, I'll be showing you guys how to make this vase and it was requested by these guys so shout out to you, Sixies so he asked me to do this effect and the preview you saw the preview in the beginning and now I'll show you one more time and I'll explain a little bit so I use it in here so as you can see I I don't know I think it's some kind of soul or something I don't know and I used mask on a I don't know top of the layer or something and here I used on the bottom so he asked me to do this so I'll show you so here is the pre here is the preview in my project also I'll show you in here so just before I jump into the work I just wanna say that you will mm, if you don't use like same cinematic as I used and everything it won't look like this as you can see this took the shape of the doors and the text so yeah it will be different for other like cinematics or, mo or motion tracks you can use it on a clip I'm not gonna show you that but never mind so also the preset of this will be in the description only you have to use is actually download and import animation apply animation preset find the preset and use it so here is one I made but never mind will make a different one also it depends on your CC and everything so it won't look like mine if you use any other difference so let's hop into the work you need S plugins sapphire so S warp chroma drag that on your adjustment layers as you can see it looks like shit put steps to 100 also from Z this put this down a little bit 0 0.800 I don't know 45 I guess something like yeah it's fine also colors don't touch it and put brightness a little bit up to about 1 point zero forty yeah you don't see the change okay so as you can see we get this shit now let's drag on turbulent turbulence displaced okay so amount put is to about 95 size leave to 100 and complexity put to 2 and will uh, keyframe the evolution actually let's keyframe right now so go to beginning I use it like I don't know 0 go to the end and rotate this a little bit until you don't get 3 right here or you can just type yeah okay so we got moving shit yeah as you can see it looks like nothing now we are going to drag on hue and saturation and now let me close this put master hue to minus 206 226 and master saturation right here put it to about 42 maybe more yeah never mind 45 i guess so also you can keyframe this thing on channel range and make it like moving from one colors to i don't know to about let's go here sorry my PC actually this is slow cuz I don't know this project is very large and yeah 
so you can keyframe colors so it will be different but yeah whatever I'm going to leave that now now take take your rectangle tool if you don't have a rectangle tool right here but it's default just press on this little arrow and take the that and just make a mask on your like half of your mask no layer so now go to adjustment layer press mm put this to 225 I hope so yeah it's fine maybe more you should and mode put this to lighten so as you can see now we got pretty similar effect and if I delete acceleration keyframes and leave it to minus 200 and you can see it's the same as mine so yeah so that's pretty much it guys as I said on the beginning it won't look the same for you also I made one tutorial before on another cinematic and it looked like shit so I decided to not upload this one so this is my second try on making this tutorial so I'll be sh I'll show you how it looks on other cinematic yo what's, what's up guys it's your boy Sorry. Chris fuck me so on this one it doesn't look that nice it's maybe too bright but the settings are pretty much the same and yeah you can mess around with modes and everything so yeah guys thank you for watching please leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials also i have recorded like four tutorials and i have to upload that but i'm way too lazy so see you guys and yeah hope you enjoy bye